Okay, let's begin. Straighten your spine, neck long, and shoulders are relaxed. Elbows are relaxed. And the hands are on your lap. Softly, gently close your physical eyes, and let's open up our inner eye by imagining long straight line is coming down from above your head, which is the top. And the line is coming down through the center of your head and the neck, spine, and reaches the base. The line is still going down and down and down into the ground. And if you can, please observe the line finally reaches the very center of the planet. By observing this long straight line penetrating you, your inner eye is wide open to all directions. So now you are firmly grounded. You start sensing the space around you. Your consciousness starts traveling freely in and out of your body. This very simple step already brought you to a very different state of mind. You might feel that you are floating in the big uh, beautiful sphere or balloon. You can sense space in front of you, behind and side to side, above and beneath. And here, bring your consciousness onto your breathing slowly. Tiny amount of air coming in and out through your nostrils or mouth. Observe this tiny movement and observe your mind chatters, observe your physical sensations, observe your space. And now imagine God is in front of you and God is also breathing and God exhales, his breath is coming to you and entering your body. So meaning his exhalation is your inhalation and God inhales, his breath is coming out through your nostrils or mouth. Yes, his inhalation is your exhalation. So please join the God breathing. Can you do that? So please adjust your consciousness onto God breathing. God exhales, his breath is in and fill out your space, your energy, all the cells rejuvenate and refresh and um, relax and heal everything. And uh, God inhales, 
your gratitude and appreciation is coming to him. So receive and thank you. Receive and thank you. And can you think there are two gods in front of you and both gods are breathing and they are giving you their breathing. You can receive a beautiful prana from two gods. Receive it and say thank you to both God. Then now you can imagine there are several God in front of you and they are giving you a beautiful love and peace and life force. You receive it. and say thank you, I received it, thank you. Now, so many gods are around you, all directions. They are exhaling and their breath is coming to you from all directions. And you say thank you to all directions. Now all the gods are in so many people you know, so many people are around you and uh, the gods in them giving you a beautiful healing holy breath. So they exhale and uh, the breath is coming. And you say thank you, your gratitude is extending all directions. Now, come back to normal breathing and relax and observe your space and your feeling and the sensation. And listen. There are so many small, tiny miracles and sometimes seems so big miracles. We say small or big, but uh, all of the miracles are same sign from the Holy Spirit. Exactly same sign, same meaning, same opportunity and same experience. Number one, seems like small, seems big. Both of them come at the best timing for you. So please, Observe your space. What's going on right now in your life? P 
pick up tiny miracles, tiny thing, or more simply to say, good things. Or kind of good things. Or very good things. So think of the, uh, such a thing. And uh, okay, I can see them, see this as a small miracles. Small miracle. It's best timing. I don't know why this is the best timing. You don't know why it's best timing because you don't see the world. You see only your own small tiny world. You can't imagine your miracle is uh, related with, uh, for example, a nuclear situation right now on the earth. You don't know why your miracles are related with uh, any political condition in this world right now. We don't know anything, but uh, everything is coming the right timing for you and for everyone. Okay. Did you see your things as miracles? And did you see those miracles are giving you as the great uh, gift at the best moment. Okay. Why do you think you receive a uh, gift? Why good things happen? Because of your good attitude or uh, your effort? No. No, because you are all the time doing the best and sometimes good result and sometimes not. So obviously it's not because of you. So you receive the gift because you extended love a lot and your space is now full of love. You extend your love, compassion, your trust, your passion, your joy, your peace, love, so much so far, even though you, did, you don't notice it. You never realize it. The amount of uh, love you extended is so big and full now. And plus, look at uh, all the gods around you. They received your love and they say thank you to you, even though you don't notice it. So many of them, since you are born, you give them a love, without noticing it, and you receive their appreciation without noticing it. So, fill your space again. It's so full. So full and bright.
much, much more people received your love. Much, much more people appreciate you. So your space is so bright and full, full of energy, full of light. So now, space is too small. Think about it. Your space is too small. Your love want to extend more. Your love want to uh, get a bigger space. So now your life is expanding, going to next stage. This is the meaning of miracles. This is the meaning of gift. This is the meaning of reward. So feel the your space full of love. So many gods around you. Can you push out your space a little bit? Making a bigger space? and allow new things come in, allow new atmosphere, situation, new project, activity, new encounter, please allow to come in by pushing out and creating a bigger space. It's a time for you. And as a matter of fact, it's always a timing. Only when you notice it, it is a actual timing. And most of the timing we overlooked unfortunately, because we are busy to think so many tiny things. But um, when we put aside our ego and uh, bring all our thoughts to the prayer, and please help me to open up for receiving a gift and miracles, you will witness it. And when you witness it, you also accept the new stage of your life. Life is always expanding, always, always renewal, always refreshing. always rejuvenating, always. Any moment is new opportunity, new chance for more joy and love. So allow yourself to accept new things new activity, new life, new people. If you don't have any idea about anything, I don't have any news, new things, and every day is the same. If you say so, your prayer is, you know, to help me to open up our mind. I want to experience new. I'm ready for new thing. 
new realization, deeper appreciation, Again, receive the breathing from others around you. And give them your love. Receive appreciation. Give them appreciation. Receive love and give love. So please remember, you are always full of love. You don't need to try to love. And by remembering this full of love, you have more opportunity to find, not to overlook, miracles. And step in the new stage of life. You don't need to make any effort to step in a new stage. You rest in this light. You rest in this love, full of love. Sense this space. Memorize this space. This space is your strength. Your stability. Your abundance, your peace, and the source of creative energy. Let me tell you one more thing, or one more time. Please remember, you are full of love, always full, always want to expand. And why always full? You don't know because you never noticed it. 
but much, much more than you imagine. You are always extending love and you are receiving love and appreciation. So when you feel it's challenging, challenging situation, what you have to do is remember you can rest in this space, meaning you can rest in God. God is around you. You are surrendered by God. You don't need to believe it, because this is a fact anyway. And please experience joy and more miracles and more confidence, more strength with this remembering. Nothing real can be threatened. This space is real. Nothing can threaten it. Threaten it. So remembering this space is a ultimate defense. I rest in God always. This is from A Course in Miracles, workbook lesson number 106. So if you can, please use your imagination. You bring all the gods, all the people's heart, bring into your chest. All the people around you, around your space, are coming to you and entering to you and then gathering at the very center of your chest. And slowly put your head down and come out of meditation, please. 